My Tesla Model Y performance is dead. It's broken. It's at the service center getting fixed. Back in June, I jinxed it when I was recording a video with uh, the Xpeng G6. This is my car, so probably I will get uh, problems with it if I choose the Xpeng G6. Maybe it hears me now and like we start whining and breaking, I don't know. Shouldn't have done that because now I'm suffering the consequences. This video will be a bit different, but I still think it's very interesting for you guys to understand and see what can happen when a electric car totally breaks down and dies. Welcome to It's Only Electric. Let's start looking at the actual event and bear with me, the sound quality is not perfect. Maybe not the image either. I only had my phone because I couldn't plan for a failure. It just happened. My purpose today was to play some tennis but that didn't go so well. So now I'm actually stuck here. You see the car behind me? That's my car. Uh, it has broken down. Something wrong with the rear drive unit. <laughs> Big failure with a lot of messages on the screen. Uh, also popped up in the Tesla application on my phone. Uh, so I'm stuck. Drive unit, failure. Uh, in a very bad spot, as you see, Traffic lights, a normal road. I can't even push the car to the side. It's uh, totally dead, nothing works. So we just managed to pop the hood. There is no 15 volt system, low voltage system available because everything is shut down. High voltage, low voltage, everything. So we uh, opened that latch to be able to jump start with 12 volts uh, with this equipment. We managed to pop the hood uh, and to be able to check the low voltage system. That's the plus pool. Uh, but we don't have the, the right equipment to, to measure it yet. And probably it, ha it has cut the power, so there is only one and a half volt uh, currently at that point. So something else is wrong or by security uh, shut down. Because as you see, there is no power at all in the car. So I need to enter the car with the manual latch here. And that also goes for the screen. As you see, nothing, everything is dead, total dead. Okay, so we managed to start the battery with a charger. Uh, delivering high amps uh, so the 15 volt battery is now active and I was able to to enter the towing mode so now the car is in neutral so we can pull it up uh, on top of the tow car as you see Okay, so it's towed and ready to leave. It's going to the service center outside Stockholm. Hopefully they will fix the issue, but uh, the low voltage system actually drained, probably because of the high voltage system not 
active anymore probably deactivated due to security reasons so when you deactivate the high voltage system the lower voltage system will like dry out uh, within a half an hour 20 minutes so everything shut down and uh, that's probably the reason for for all the interior electronics to stop working so that was the actual event and let me just clarify some things uh, so the rear drive unit together with the inverter failed totally i could hear that very clearly when i was driving the car some really strange sounds and vibrations came from the from the rear part of the car so i was a bit stressed at that moment i couldn't move the car even a meter so i was stuck in the middle of the traffic fortunately it was at a good spot so there was space around the car for for letting cars pass so that's good at least because it took almost two hours for the tow company to pick me up after a while the whole power shut down and the main reason for that is that the low voltage system that powers all the electronics inside the car the electronic door openers the lighting the hazard lights the computer the screens everything and that power reserve is small and can only power the car for like 20 or 30 minutes because it's getting its power constantly getting charged from the high voltage system the reason for the big battery pack to not powering the car was of course for safety reasons so the pyro fuse that's a fuse uh, containing a small amount of pyrotechnics that burns the connection uh, so it cuts the power safely from the high voltage system and after a while this the low voltage system runs out of juice so now i'm sitting in a model 3 long range white loner from tesla the event of failure happened on a sunday tuesday they started to work on the car thursday morning yesterday they called me and reported that your car is fully functional now everything is fixed so two days of work or one and a half day of work and they managed to fix everything that's impressive i was like expecting two or three weeks at the service center so that's surprisingly good now it's friday and i'm taking the loaner back to the service center and picking up my car before i do i just want to thank michael or mikael that uh, at the event stopped and helped me out with a lot of things he brought a battery pack cables chargers a lot of equipment to help me to pop the hood and charge the low voltage system or at least power it to be able to open the doors again so a big thanks to to you michael really fun to to meet other ev enthusiasts out there uh, always a lot to talk about i'm back in my model y performance the Panda, everything went well at the end. I mean, the car still broke down. Uh, that's a bad experience as such. The good thing is that everything went very smoothly. I handed back the loaner, picked up the Model Y performance, and now I'm actually back home recording the last part of this video. At the end, when I looked at the specification, everything went under the warranty so i didn't pay a dime for the whole experience and uh, what they did they replaced the circuit of the inverter of the rear motor so not the whole package as i thought from the beginning they changed the pyro fuse that's normal because you can only use it once and they did two warranty things or at least one. Uh, first one was to adjust the fog lights. Uh, so that's fixed. The other thing that I didn't expect was they fixed something on the rear boot. That's interesting because I have for a while had a very annoying rattle and squeaking sound. Thought it was the bushings adjusting the alignment of the of the boot but it wasn't 
it was something in the mechanics of the latch of the boot. So they actually replaced that one uh, also for free, so probably some warranty thing too. So the car ended up being a bit better than when I handed it in. So that's actually very good and exciting to get rid of that noise because I don't know if you have watched my videos earlier, I really get easily annoyed by rattling sounds. So all in all, a okay experience, I would say. I mean, saved by uh, the good service in this case. Uh, I know that a lot of people are whining about uh, Tesla's service, but in this case, it went flawless. They repaired the car within four days. I got it back. I had a loaner during the time. Uh, and the only bad thing is actually that the car broke down. Shouldn't do. Uh, good thing is that they took it under the warranty, so no issues uh, in that manner. And this car is at 19,000 kilometers. So it's a fairly new car. I mean, it's two years now, but still I haven't driven it so much. Probably some kind of fabrication is issue on some of the inverters coming from Giga Berlin. Uh, this is a 2022 model. Uh, I think it's built in May 2022. So one of the 5,000 first builds from Giga Berlin. Uh, maybe there is something with that batch. I'm not sure. Uh, but if you have experienced something uh, similar, uh, or if you know someone that, that has, so please write that in the comments below. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, that it could give you some understanding of electric cars and what can happen to them when they break down. I mean, old cars, even combustion engines break down in similar ways. Uh, you can get a lot of different failures. The good thing with electric cars is that there's not that many points that can fail. In this case, a very important point failed and I get stuck in the middle of the road. Uh, fortunately, not at the worst position, could have been a lot worse uh, and, a, and a lot more stressful environment than, than this. If this happens to you, uh, you know what it is, you know how to handle it. And I hope this video gave you some, some good insight uh, of a electric vehicle or a Tesla Model Y failing. Please share your thoughts in the comments below and let us have a discussion. Have you experienced similar things or do you know one that has that or do you have any specific questions? Please write them below and let us have a good discussion. And as I always say, like, subscribe and engage. Thank you for watching. Speak to you soon.